why do all of the best synths on Mac usually look like this? What is that? What the f is that? As a self confessed synth layman, interfaces like that fill me with dread and leave me wondering where do I start? On the iOS platform, things are usually a bit more straightforward when it comes to synth and overall app interfaces. Having said that, you do sometimes lose a bit of the depth that you get from fully fledged desktop synths. Alpha by Bliss is a great example of an iOS synth app that is really easy to get to grips with, but is capable of producing some really fantastic sounds. So I was really happy when Bliss announced that they were going to release Alpha on desktop platforms. If you've ever struggled to get to grips with some of these heavy duty Mac synth plugins, then I think this will be right up your street. All right, let me be completely upfront and honest with you from the outset. Bliss haven't paid me to make this video. It isn't sponsored in any way, shape or form. I just really bloody love this synth. In fact, not only was I lucky enough to be able to create a handful of presets for Alpha before it released on iOS, it also became my iOS app of the year back in 2020. I also worked with Belize after that to create a full on expansion pack for the app, which is also available in this desktop version. We'll talk about that a bit more later on. If you haven't heard of Bleece before, then I don't blame you. They're quite new to the desktop scene and are currently porting the vast majority of their hugely popular iOS apps over to the Mac and PC platform. Alpha was their first crack at a proper synth app, and it's clear that they've chucked a whole load of what make other synth apps and plugins so appealing into the mix here. The thing I think I like most about this synth is that Bliss have really struck a good balance between ease of use and providing enough in-depth control over your sounds in Alpha's clean and intuitive user interface. It's perfect for audio design dum-dums like me. All right, here's how it works then. There are six panels to work with here. You've got general, oscillators, filters, modulation, motion, and a FX panel. We'll take a closer look at those panels in a second, but if you just want to dive in and see what this synth is capable of, then you want to check out some of the presets. But these aren't just any presets. While there are some in-house presets that come bundled with this synth, Bliss also partnered with loads of different sound designers, YouTube personalities, audio enthusiasts, and one actual proper rock star, I'm not kidding, to create some presets for this synth. As I mentioned, Bliss were kind enough to give me the opportunity to create five presets for Alpha at launch. You'll find my selection available for use in this version. You'll also find handcrafted presets from Dean from Electrona Sounds, LaFaze, Mark Lyon, New Tricks, The Synth Guy, The Beat Community, Torley, and Jordan Rudess of Dream Theater fame. Bliss have been really clever here, getting such an eclectic group of people to create sounds for this synth. It really does demonstrate just how versatile it is. All right, so crafting those killer sounds with this plugin is a pretty straightforward affair. 
The general tab allows you to adjust polyphonic and re-trigger settings for your sounds, as well as giving you velocity options and access to Alpha's robust arpeggiator. The oscillators panel allows you to adjust the settings for your two default oscillators, plus you can throw a third into the mix if you want. You can adjust how much of these oscillators are present in the mix section, and the amp section has you adjusting the ADSR. The filter panel contains what is essentially a stripped down version of Bleece's filter plugin. What they've done here is pretty much jammed a mini version of that into this tab, and it works really, really well. The modulation panel has you adjusting two LFOs by aligning them to different parameters you set up in the previous panels. Inspired by modular synthesizers of yore, the Motion Sequencer offers a huge amount of rhythmic and expressive modulation possibilities. You do this by adjusting the steps in the sequencer and picking a parameter for it to link to. You can create some really unique sounds with this thing. And finally, the FX panel gives you drive, bit crusher, tremolo, delay and reverb effects to work with. The rest of the effects, the drive in particular, are fantastic. And I found it almost impossible to resist adding a trashy, gritty flavour to my sounds. There is quite a lot to tinker with here, but despite the large amount of customization options on offer, you'll rarely feel overwhelmed or lost. This is due in large part to just how much fun Alpha is to use. I've genuinely lost hours of my life just messing around with this thing, and I thoroughly enjoyed every damn second of it. As I mentioned, I also created a full-on preset pack for Alpha earlier this year. That's available to purchase as an in-plugin purchase, I guess, from Alpha on Mac as well. Belize have done an absolutely fantastic job of porting across one of iOS's best since, in my opinion, to the Mac platform. It's available right now to go and grab, and if you are at all interested in a fantastic sounding synth that's really easy to get into, I would highly recommend checking out Alpha from Belize. You'll find a link to it down in the description below. Enjoy, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.